Hey traders, Steve here from Jackrabbit Trader and welcome to the Jackrabbit Club. We're going to take a look at our portfolio for Saturday, September 28th, 2019. First thing I want to point out is that we are um, moving lower over the last three weeks, okay? And that is partly in fact, uh, or partly due to the fact that the S&P is moving lower as well. All right, we've underperformed for some time, but from the highs of the SPY, that was 21.5% for the year, down to 19.23, so down about two and a quarter percent, and we're around the same, down from 12.3 down to 9.77, so just about two and a half percent or so. Looking at the market cycle, we're we're kind of positioned that we're slightly uh, bearish on the market, and that is in fact due to uh, the reason that we're trading below the 8 and 21 day moving average. You can see that we indicated a new red market cycle on the 24th and then ultimately uh, confirm that here uh, as the the eight is really resisting all right any price movement to the upside so we'll go full bearish mode when the eight crosses below the 21 day moving average but right now that's about another 50 cents or so eight is trading at 297.45 while the 21 is at 296.95 all right, so once we get that crossover like we have so many other times in the past, then we'll transition to full bearish. Not that it changes much from what we're doing, um, but when we get that, then I'm going to look to start really selling off some of the profitable trades that we have. And perfectly honest with you, there's not many. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But, you know, we had a trade this week because of this bearishness around the VIX and if we look at the SPY from a technical perspective, all right, you can see the SPY is holding in on this 294 level, really using that as some strong support. You can see this was resistance back here, and then now is turning into support. So I'm looking at anything between 302 and 294 on the SPY as really just being range bound at the bottom of the range here. And again, we had a trade in the VXX as a counter trend trade, right? We were looking at it moving off these lows around 2150, all right, back up to 25, and I sent that alert out. Let's see. You can see that right here in this week and we talked about buying the uh, the VIX VXX, I should say, the December 23 calls at 345 and you could see that that at that point the market cycle was still you know, slightly bullish. Okay, we were below the eight day, but it's still above the 21 day. And it was really just a precautionary type of trade in case we broke below the 21 day. Sure enough, later that day, we actually did. This was on the 24th that we sent this out. We actually broke below that. And then we added some 295 puts. All right, this is the same uh, trade setup from a little while ago. Then we added the 295 puts at 660, which we still have. All right, and then very quickly we had a move in the VIX back up to this 25 area. And you could see that uh, right in here, and this actually was on the 25th. We had a move up into that 25 area, and then quickly sold off. So we took half of our position off around 440, and then on Friday took the other half off as it came back up to that 25 area again. So all in all, on that trade in the VXX, we had a about a 26% uh, profit. Again, real quick in in that name uh, for my portfolio, up 370 on that quick little trade, and that gives us a, a losing month so far of 756 dollars. We still have one more trading day left, but uh, highly doubt that we're going to be taking too many profits on on uh, Monday unless we get a move lower in the SPY below that 294 level. Okay, maybe we break below that. We do have that hedge in play. All right, and then we'll look to trade around that hedge. Um, but what I'm looking at here in the SPY, and we're going to get to the other indices real quick as well, but 294 needs to hold. If 294 doesn't hold, my next target would be back to this trend line. And if that doesn't hold, then I'm looking at this 282 level. All right, but for right now, we're still between 294 and 302. You know, thought about taking some of those puts off at 294, but because we're so heavily long invested, 
Uh, I really want the protection at this point, all right? Um, so, you know, who knows what happens over the weekend. But realistically, this is trending lower. We're below the 8 and the 21 day. You know, momentum is to the downside. We want to protect ourselves. We want to go ahead and make sure that we're protecting that long, long portfolio that we have. Um, and again, just taking a quick look at that weekly chart, you know, we have this broadening pattern in play, all right? Highs are getting higher, lows are getting lower. Have this uptrend line, and, you know, we're respecting this 302. We came up into it last week, and then now started breaking below it. And if you look at this, one of the nice things with Thinkorswim is if you look at this from an inverse perspective, you could just type negative SPY, and you could see that it's basically the same exact setup we were looking at in the VXX, right? We're, where we're holding this level down here at 302. Okay, we can clear this drawing set. And we're holding this 302 level, and then ultimately looking to target the 284 level, right? So this would be a, you know, a, a great looking uh, counter trend trade, similar to what we did in the VIX. So when you look at it like this, this is something that we want to be aware of. Very possible that we come down, test that 284 level uh, after touching support at 302. So that's the SPY. We talked about the VXX trade that we had. Let's just take a quick look at the other uh, the other indices. So the Qs, all right, this is the NASDAQ. And you can see that we have this same uptrend line in play. We're actually sitting right on it. If that uptrend line breaks, my next target would be down here around this 181 level. You could also see a slightly lower high these past two weeks uh, than we had earlier in July. All right, so that's something to be aware of. So to me, this looks like maybe we want to get a retest back down here of 181. We'll see actually how that plays out. DIA, similar, uh, you know, basically in a box, touched this 273.50 area twice back here in July and again back in, uh, you know, the last two weeks or so. And if you flip it over, just as we did with the SPY, you know, again, same kind of trade that we talked about in the VXX and the SPY where you can hold this as support and then look for a trade back up to resistance at 254. So the fact that we're seeing those types of moves and those types of setups on the indices uh, is a little concerning. IWM trading sideways, essentially between 158 and 145. Again, uh, you have a, a lower trend line, maybe a higher trend line, making this, this pennant or this triangle pattern where we just consolidate between the two. But realistically, I'm looking more at these important levels at 158 and 145. So market's not looking the best. You know, if we look back at the VXX, we talked about that being another type of trade setup. Uh, we came down on the weekly, put a hammer bar in, and then ultimately closed below it. So as we've talked about in the past, the, the pullback trade, this is a classic pullback trade where you have some lower closes, and finally you got higher close. We can very easily uh, buy the VXX, put a stop under 21.77, see if we can get back to 3087, all right? As we talked about, similar with the SDS, all right? You know, you could put a stop here under 287 or 2870, you know, look for a trade back to 32, okay? So everything's kind of the way I'm looking at these charts, we're lining up with the fact that the market looks like it wants to go lower based on these charts and based on uh, the, the VIX, Okay, um, and, and these inverse ETFs. So just something to be aware of. Again, you know, looking at the SPY, it's very possible we come down, test this 281 level, and that's the reason that we left those hedges on. All right, so we trade around the VIX this week. We added the SPY hedge. Um, we're, we also went ahead and added uh, DHR and ALL earlier in the week. Uh, we're not going to, because of the type of market cycle we're in, we're not going to be adding any new trades. Uh, we really just want to manage the long trades we have, and we want to look at those now uh, and see if there's anything that we need to do with our existing positions. Okay, so let's go over here, get back into, and we'll sort these by alphabetical order. All right, so Adobe. Adobe's holding this 270 level. This was our line in the sand. All right, we're going to remove this. 
Um, and that was essentially here was the consolidation. We had the breakout, had a move higher up to 311, and now we're back, back down. And at one point, Adobe was under 270 this week, and it looked like we were going to get stopped out. And then sure enough, reverse back, and now we're trading back over 270. So very important to make sure that you're using these weekly stops and uh, not necessarily freaking out during the week. The position size should be small enough to allow you to just let these positions work. And let's see, do we get a, you know, a roll back to the upside on Adobe? All right, we have these nice open body candles you know, in a market that's not very strong. All right, we, that's very possible. So right now, Adobe, nothing to do there. Just keeping the stop in play at 270. ALL, which is our new trade this week, had a breakout and you could see that it started the week out great, trade all the way up to 109.50 and now trading down 107.83. We got in at 107.57 was our entry from Monday morning's market order. All right, so right now up slightly in that one. AME, all right, bumping its head against some resistance here. All right, so we're gonna keep an eye on this one, AME. If we start to get a pullback, you know, maybe the market starts to head lower and we uh, see this one starting to move back to the, to the downside, may very well take this off for a small loss um, and wait for that breakout over 92. We did the same thing in a previous trade in O, okay? Took it off, you can see here, took some off at, at 72.70, again at 73, and waited for that breakout, and then ultimately, here we are, and we're actually in this one, okay? So it was a, a third trade in O. But that may be the better scenario here for AME instead of waiting to see if it gets all the way back down to 81. Let's see if it can break 91. Comcast. All right. I don't know what kind of news Comcast had, but at one point it was close, you know, trading all the way down in the low 44. All right. But this one moved from 47 down to 44. Still a secondary breakout. We have a new stop that we were able to trail from 41 to 42 based on this consolidation and new breakout. And here it is trading lower. Uptrend still in place, so nothing really wrong with this trade yet. Um, let's see if it could stay over 42 and see how it works. Costco, all right, similar that we, we had a breakout and now here we are coming back, pulling back a little bit. Stop all the way down here, 262. So we got some, you know, some room in here. Uptrend still in place. And again, it could just very well be that the market needs some time, needs some rest. Um, and these stocks need to reset up for new breakouts, right? Maybe some are extended. I mean, these have had some, you know, insane moves this year. Uh, Costco in the end of last year was trading 194. Now it's already up to three, you know, it was up to 300. So it was up almost 50% in a year. So um, for a consumer staple, that's, that's a pretty big move. And let's see what happens going forward. CSX, our pullback trade, still holding 64. Um, ultimately first target and we're gonna actually set an alert here so I'm gonna set an alert for you know 74 50 ish all right and at that level I'll probably look to take some off uh, depending on what kind of profits we have what kind of market we're in all right realistically I want to see if it can get up to 79 and then maybe touch the top of the trend line so we'll see what kind of market we're in if it's something that the market cycle turns back green then not going to really look to uh, to do too much there. If we get lucky and the market cycle is red and the market's moving lower and CSX decides it wants to go higher, then we'll use that to our advantage and take some profits. DHR, another new trade this week. And you can see it's not starting out very well. Got in at 145.30 uh, on this breakout and here we are trading 141.50. So down about four bucks on that trade. Hilton similar situation we had a move to the upside this downtrend looked like a break or a, i'm sorry a pullback trade right where we were starting to break this downtrend uh, looking for it to head back up to 99 uh, ultimately 90 is our line in the sand and looks like it's flirting with that down 450 on that info went sideways broke out and really hasn't done much since still holding above 65.58 but realistically you know our line in the sand is 62.50, uptrend still in place. So a lot of these, the uptrend still in place, I don't see these as broken stocks. Um, it's just, you know, again, maybe they just need some time and we're just going to protect the, against the SPY in case the SPY decides it wants to go down. 
you know we'll we'll trade around those puts and hopefully be able to make a profit on those jpm broke 118 really hasn't done much since two small body candles going forward uh, still trading above the breakout level at 116 mondelez all right so here we had a move higher in mondelez a quick move lower and now here we are back at the original highs of the consolidation around 5550 but again this is one that hasn't really reacted the same to the market as the market has right the market's been going down mondelez up so that's a good thing oh we just looked at but realistically we had a breakout our stop is down here at 67 50 we're gonna remove this drawing because we don't need this anymore and let's see you know i mean realistically you know we could be super aggressive and move our stop up to 7250 consider this maybe a very small breakout for me i'm just going to leave it as is again not really looking to add to any positions now because of the market cycle that we're in pepsi right broke out pulled back testing the top of this uh recent resistance you could ring candle this week again market was red so that's a positive sign there rtn this is one that you kind of kick yourself because I had an alert set in here at 206 and we got up to 205, you know, 30 or so. Uh, was looking to take some profits there. I think at that level we were up about $600 on this one and, you know, ultimately closed lower. And here we are trading around 195.50. So hopefully this can turn around. Our stop way down here, 173.30. Uptrend still in place, downtrend still broken. So this one, again, may just need some time. SMPS had the breakout, a quick rejection. Tried the breakout this week, again, rejected. Stop is 125.80, uptrend still in place. Okay, so not the prettiest, but still working its way higher, it looks like. STI, big consolidation breakout. Since that breakout has really gone sideways, you can see we entered at 68. Uh, we're trading 68.85 gonna set an alert up here at the recent highs 7320 all right so we get up to 7320 probably look to take some off there and the big loser right now is visa right and this is unfortunate because it's been on a tear and of course we got in and it's quickly rejected now flirting with our stop at 170.183 uptrend line the you know the the more of the short-term uptrend line for this year has been broken all right so last that we have is this 171.83 this trend line can really go away all right and if we close below 171.83 all bets are off maybe we come down 156 but we'll be out of that trade at that point all right so those are our trades and again you know if we look at it from what we have in the portfolio open profit down 1670 remember that what's reflected in this uh, watch list on the left here is not what I consider and track for uh, the Jackrabbit Club. Why? I don't know because I like to complicate things. But uh, here's our trades. You know, here SPY we're trading, or we were trading 735 uh, in those puts. Now I think we're trading, you know, I don't know, something a lot lower, maybe 627.50 or something. I think we're down a little bit in that hedge. And that was very quickly on Friday afternoon, maybe the last 15, 20 minutes. Um, but ultimately, you know, here we are down 211 because this is actually not accurate. And, you know, the September month has not been kind to us. We've had a couple uh, string of a couple losers just with this last VXX trade to the upside. So hopefully we get back to our winning ways. I know September is usually not a very solid month for stocks, but it is what it is. Here we are closing so far. Twelve hundred or twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the year, uh, up about thirty thousand over the last uh, three or four years. So that's where we stand. Again, just we really want to just monitor our trades going forward, uh, play a defensive role this week. Let's see if anything changes with the market cycle, and then if it does, I'll let you know and I'll email you. But uh, right now, the first thing, uh, first order of business is if we get a push lower in the SPY. Come Monday, Tuesday, I definitely want to look to take some of those puts off for a quick trade um, and then see what happens when we get down to trend line and, uh, you know, maybe even a little lower. Ultimately, the, the proper way to make that trade, and again, we're not doing, we're not looking for perfection, 
But the way you really want to look at this trade is we break 294. First target would be trend line. Second target, 282. Guarantee I'm not going to let it go that long, especially with the amount of puts that we have on, uh, at least I have on. Um, you know, quick trade. If we get to 290, you know, th that could be a couple thousand dollars for me. Um, so definitely want to look, take that off. It definitely helps make up a, a, uh, a rough September and any losses that we may incur. So uh, usually pretty quick with taking those puts off. You know, down moves are quick, up moves just as quick when we're in a red market cycle. So keep that in mind and we'll see you next week. If you, this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next one. Later.